all right viewers welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i want to show you how to calculate calculate for the total capacitance when the circuit or the diagram is given to you in series parallel as we can see on the board we have 11 capacitors that are connected in series parallel and we can say that we can see that we have two different categories different of the categories that are in two fold of capacitors so here we can see C2, C3, namely C2, C3 capacitors uh, that are in parallel. And the and second category is given in what? Parallel. So in this case, we have three of the capacitors with the parallel that are connected in series with it. And we have another four that is connected in series, in series with the, the top line. So what we do here, we are asked to calculate for the equivalent capacitance so in this case we know in capacitance when they are connected when capacitors are connected in parallel what you do is that you add the capacitors it can be in two it can be in three four or five capacitors the only thing is you add them so in this case let's start from here we let's name here as c para one para capacitance one so we can we say what c2 plus c3 so para capacitance one is six plus four so para capacitor one we have 10 microfarad all right so this is what we have so para capacitor two we have para let's name here as para capacitors two so we say what c5 plus c6 so para capacitor two we have three plus five 3 plus 5, so para capacitor 2, we have 8 microfarad. So this is what we have. So now we can see as we, we calculated it, we now it will be in series because now we, we here will become 1 and here will become 1. So let's redraw and see what we have. So if we redraw, we have this, the C1 stands there alone, stands as it is. So we have 2 microfarad. We have C para 1, which is... 6 para 1 is 10 microfarad. We have C4. C4. C4 will be, that is 2 microfarad. We have C, C para 2. C para 2. We have 8 microfarad. The last one, C7. Here, we have 3 microfarad. So this is how the circuit will be. So the, the series under is four. One, two, three, four. So this is how it's going to be. Which we have C8, C9, C10. So C8, C9, C10, and C11. So C8 is four microfarad. C9 is two microfarad. C10 is two microfarad. C11 is four microfarad so this is how our circuit is going to turn like remember now they are in series and when you want to calculate for total capacitance in series you use you use the one over c method so let's name here as one over c series one so series one capacitance so what we do here what you know, we are, what you have to observe and notice and always realize that will help you and recognize. Make sure you recognize this very carefully. It will always help you when you are calculating capacitance. Whenever you are calculating for capacitance, when capacitors are connected in parallel, in, in series, what you have to know is that check the smallest one. So the first line, we have the smallest as two, two microfarad. After you finish calculating the total capacitance of that, of that category, that, that uh, number of capacitors that you have calculated, you see that the answer will be lesser than this. So let's calculate. You see that the total capacitance that we have for line 1 will be what? Smaller will be lesser than this. Then we know that our answer is correct. So we have 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. C para 1 plus 1 over C4 plus 1 over C para 2 plus 1 over C7. So 1 C, 
total capacitance series one. Series one, we have one over what? Two, one over two plus one over ten, plus one over ten, plus one over two, plus one over eight, plus one over three. So that is series one. So one divided by two, we know is 0 0.5. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 plus 1 divided by 2 0 0.5 1 divided by 8 we know is 0 0.125 1 divided by 3 is 0 0.333 so let's see s1 stands alone 1 then let's add these ones and see so let's add it and see 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 0, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.333 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.125 plus 0 0.333 we have 0 we have 0 point we have 1.5 558 let's divide quickly and see what we have as the equivalent or let's say capacitors in series total so one divided by 1.558 we have 0 0.642 0 0.642 microfarad all right so let, now that we have this let's see the the series circuit that is in CP1 over C series 2. Let's name here this line as C series 2. So we have 1 over, we have 8, 9, 10, 11. So C8 plus C9 plus C10 plus C11. All right, so 1 over CS2 is equal to 1. The C8 is what? 1 over 4. C9 is 1 over 2. Plus C10 is 1 over 2. Plus C11 is 1 over 4. So let's see. 1 over C S2 is equal to 1 divided by 4. Let's see what we have. 1 divided by 4, we have 0 0.25. 0 0.25. 1 divided by 2, 0 0.5. 1 divided by 2, 0 0.5. 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25. Let's add it. So your CS2 stands alone. 1 divided by the answer there. So let's see what we have. 0 0.25 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25. We have 1.5. So 1 divided by 1.5. Let's do it. 1 divided by 1.5 will give us... 0 0.6 0 0.667 microfarad remember as we calculated this line now becomes this line this very line will become c series one this very line will become c series two so this line is c series one so now it become one so let's redraw this how it's going to be c series one and then we have c series two so this is how the circuit is going to turn to be like. And that will help us to easily calculate it for our final answer. To help us to calculate for our final answer. So C series 1 is what? 0 0.642 microfarad. And the C S2, that is 0 0.667 microfarad. Alright, so now that is in parallel is in capacitors when capacitors are connected in parallel you only add so now you see they say we should calculate for what equivalent capacitor that is the total capacitance so we say what total capacitor equivalent capacitor total capacitor is what cs1 plus cs2 so equivalent capacitance now becomes what 0 0.642 plus 0 0.667 so equivalent capacitance now will give us so let's see what we have 0 0.642 plus 0 0.667 we have 0 1 1.30 1 1.309 so 1.31 all right so this becomes our final answer 
when you are giving a uh, you are giving a question like this analyze it first and then see where you will start finally this is what we have right viewers subscribe comment below share my video like my video and if you want to see my video just write david the quote into bracket calculation and practice and you see more of my video well as usual i want to use this video to encourage you once again i will say the same thing forever and ever believe what what how god has made you you are unique believe and trust in god that he made you unique you can progress the only thing is rise sow your today and by great by the grace of god i believe when you sow your today god will help you to reap your tomorrow bye be a great one and be a successful one bye